Hey, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Ask Rich. So the question that came in earlier was, how do I motivate my sales team, all right? So whether it's a traditional sales team, um, or maybe it's some kind of MLM you got going on, some kind of network marketing company or business or whatever, What I want you to do is if you're in that position where you've got sellers, you've got people on your team, you've got people that you're responsible for, and you're wondering, well, what do I need to do to motivate them? How come they're not getting out there and humping it, and they're not making those calls or getting out there and networking and getting out there and, you know, making those sales or making those connections and, all right, because in your your position, I'm sure you've got your, your sales quotas and you've got, you know, reasons to uh, get those sales coming in, all right? You've got them bonuses and whatnot. What I want you to do is I want you to take a really good look in the mirror. That's right. Don't look at the people out there that you're in charge of. Don't look at the people on your team and wonder what you need to do to motivate them. What I want you to do is I want you to take a really good look in the mirror and make sure that you're doing exactly what you need to be doing as the sales leader, as the team leader, as the person in that leadership position, all right? Because if you're coming into the office or you're coming into the training room or the sales room or whatever and you're running a few minutes late or you're not enthusiastic or you're not pushing it, you're not driven, you're not motivated, you're not organized, right? If you're not empowering these people, if you yourself aren't operating on at a level of excellence, then it's really unfair to try and motivate the other people because they're gonna see that, they're gonna do exactly what you're doing. If, if you're only operating at 75, 80%, They're going to see that they're probably only going to go up to eh, 60. Well, I mean, the boss, the the team leader, he's only doing this much. Oh, you can't see that. He's only doing this much, so I'm going to do just enough right there, or maybe I'm going to perform at at his level, all right? So if you want your people to perform at 110%, then you yourself must be performing at 150%. You need to come into that sales room or into that team meeting or into whatever you've got going on, your weekly functions or your meet and greets or your networking opportunities. You need to be going in there pumped up and ready to go. You need to be modeling exactly what they need to be doing, empowering those people and really believing in it yourself. If you're telling them to wake up at five o'clock in the morning to get out there and make it happen, you better be waking up at 4.30 in the morning to make sure that they're doing it or to really be living and breathing it yourself, all right? When you're operating at that high level and you're attracting the right people, if your team is comprised of the right people, if you did a good job with hiring the right people, when they see you operating here, then they're going to pick it up because they're going to ante up. They're going to see what you're doing. They're going to see your level of commitment. They're going to see how you love what it is that you do. They're going to see that you eat it and breathe it and sleep it and and poop it out and and get ready for, for more. They're going to see that and they're going to do the exact same thing because that's what you're creating, all right? If, on the other hand, they see you getting a little lackadaisical, or they see you making excuses, they see you not operating on a level of excellence, then in turn, they're gonna do the exact same thing. And you're gonna be wondering, well, how did I get myself in this situation? All right, so instead of looking out to the outward, looking out to the environment, looking out to the outside world of what the other people are doing, I want you to take a good look on the inside. Look at you. Go, like I said, look in the mirror and make sure that you are doing everything in your power to make it happen as the team leader, all right? If you're giving giving them those expectations, then you need to lead by example, all right? This isn't a do as I say society. This is a I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna show you the right way, I'm gonna guide you, I'm gonna coach you, 
and I'm going to lead it and I want you to come on with me because I believe in you because I'm your coach, I'm the leader, I'm going to show you exactly what's expected and I'm going to cheer you on the entire way because I believe in you because I brought you in to this company, into this business for a purpose and I know that you can do it so let's make this happen, we're going to do it together, we're going to win together, we're going to help people out together, all right? That's where you need to be coming from, all right? So that's my that's my suggestion for how do I motivate my sales team. If you have any other questions about that or you want to take this to that next level, all right? Then reach out to me, go to go to my website thepathofme.com or shoot me a direct email rich at the path of me and let me know that it's in regard to this video and let's have a conversation you and I and um, and we'll make it happen, all right, for 2019 and beyond. So like I said, go to my website, thepathofme.com, or just shoot me an email, rich at the path of me. Let me know what's going on, and uh, you and I will uh, schedule a conversation because I'd love to help you out. So thanks, and be excellent. Bye-bye.